So here, now she goes, so so he's be, she's being debunked, Ben, and he, it doesn't stop her. So now she goes on to make a, a, a charge about the Justice Department. Is he president or not? I mean, ultimately, these are executive agencies which are proving so deeply problematic. But again, you cannot At mean the, the Justice end, Department. You cannot mean the Justice Department. I'm not sure what you mean. Well, you <laughs> I think when she goes, I'm not sure what you mean, meaning, are you gonna fucking do this the whole time I'm talking? <laughs> because I swear to God, I'll bite you to the summer party. You're on. <laughs> You're on. You're fine. I'm not sure what you mean. He's, <laughs> she knows exactly what he means. She's just like, are you really gonna keep doing this, are you? Right. You're starting to embarrass me a little bit. <laughs> so here, keep going. You can't have the President of the United States telling the Attorney General, isn't that what Watergate was in part about? That there were directions of people to be fired? That we can't have that kind of political interference, right? I'm not even sure what you mean. The you can't tell the attorney general not to investigate something or to investigate something. Sense. That's the law. Fine. Fine. Play, play that one more time, Hank. Let's see, let me hear that clip one more time. You can't have the president of the United States telling the attorney general. Isn't that what Watergate was in part about? That there were directions of people to be fired. That we can't have that kind of political interference, right? I'm not even sure what you mean. The you can't tell the attorney general not to investigate something or to investigate something. That's the law. Fine. <laughs> Again, okay, everything what do I, know about I the law? say, you keep, okay, fine, let's keep going. <laughs> so everything he's, she said, he's debunked, go ahead. And, but, 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 which begs the question, doesn't it? Why do you keep inviting her on if everything she's saying is bullshit? Why does she keep getting invitations? And I don't understand why this is the only time David Gregory's ever done this. He, she's got a strategy, though, that I think fools him into thinking that she's not making the same mistakes that she's always made. In case you notice, she put glasses on. Yes. She put right. yeah. So it's like, you know, right now you're joined uh, by Ben Mankiewicz, but mm -hmm. uh, now I'm Ken Hankiewicz. Oh, right? it's, like wow. a it's like a different dude. So she could make a number, she could make 30 more incredibly dumb points. So did, did you have something you wanted to read about her? Oh yeah, so she, this is Peggy Noonan, talk about not lack of accountability. Uh, I mean, so this is written the Monday before election day uh, in the Wall Street Journal. I spent Sunday morning in DC with journalists and political hands, one of whom said she feels it's Obama, the rest of whom say they don't know. I think it's Romsey. I think it's Romney. I think he's stealing in like a thief with good tools in Walker Percy's old words. And then she proceeds to describe why she thinks Romney is going to win. But on to the election. Who knows what to make of the weighting of the polls and the assumptions as to who will vote? Who knows the depth and breadth of each party's turnout efforts? Well, Nate Silver. Yeah, yeah Nate Silver <laughs> did. Nate Silver knew. And yeah. because he just looked at all the pollsters and he knew they knew, yeah. and then he averaged them to, yes. to make his incredibly complicated process incredibly simple. Yeah. Um, so she just, uh, so he's, uh, but I think they are right, and I think it's this, that there's going to be a surprise, a Romney win. And then she talks about his crowds, right? He looks happy and graceful. His closing <laughs> speech has been positive, future-looking, sweetly patriotic. His closing ads are sharp. Uh, ah! The one about what's going on at his, at his rallies is moving. And the, all the vibrations are right, she says. A person I talked to said she who joined the Romney campaign because they were anti-Obama but they became pro-Romney. So because this one guy told her that story that he's mm -hmm. now pro-Romney, it's mm -hmm. over, right? Yes. There's no denying Republicans have the passion now, the enthusiasm, the Democrats do not. Independence, she says, they're breaking for Romney, right? Uh, is it possible this whole thing is playing out before our eyes and we're not really noticing because we're bl too busy looking at data on paper instead of what's in front of us? What? That's yeah. what is what's in front of you, is data on paper. Yeah, we put the data on it's paper right in front of you. and we'll put it in front of you. Let me get to the, my favorite part because okay. the, uh, um, Oh yeah, there's no denying, it's the same sentence. There's no denying Republicans have the passion now, the enthusiasm, the Democrats do not. Independents are breaking for Romney. And here's the thing about the yard signs. In Florida <laughs> a few weeks ago, I saw Romney signs, not Obama once. <laughs> from Ohio, I hear the same. From Tony Northwest Washington, D.C., I hear the same. So the yard signs, mm -hmm. and she liked the ads, she and he's ads. super patriotic when and, he shakes people's hands. And my, plus my grandma says all her friends are voting Romney. <laughs> totally. So there Could you go. Could she be less scientific? Yeah. It's unbelievable. She's, Yet, she's, a, she's a, I hear she's from an another guy in Ohio that there's a lot of signs there too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did you guys do a poll? Did you go check? No, we didn't yeah, count no, them or no. anything. No. Uh, you can't trust, you can't look at the data in front of you and make a decision based on the data in front of you. That would be irresponsible leadership. That, what is it? What, what is she, a news person? Yeah, totally, yeah. So that's why Romney was so disappointed because he read this column. That's right. He thought he was going to win. That's right. And was very upset. <laughs> why would you write that, Peggy?